how to debloat Discord on PC. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a neat trick to slim down Discord and make it run smoother. So, you know how Discord's built on Electron, which is basically Chromium under the hood? Well, a bunch of us love keeping Discord running while we're gaming. But here's the thing, it's like having a bunch of Chrome tabs open in the background, hogging up memory. Not ideal, right? Let me show you how to fix that. Alright, let's streamline Discord a bit. First up, we gotta close it down properly. So, head over to the Task Manager, find Discord, and hit End Task. Just to make sure it's shut down clean. Next, we'll do a little folder dance. Hit Windows and R to open up the Run dialog. Type in percent Local App Data percent and click OK. That should whisk you away to a bunch of folders. Look for the Discord one, click on it, and now, here's the tricky part. We gotta delete the right stuff. Don't worry, I'll guide you through. Hold down the control key and click on update.exe, scroll setup.log, discord updater and packages. If there's a pesky downloads folder hanging around, you can zap that too. Just click the X to delete at the top and bid it farewell. Easy peasy, right? Alright, now let's dive into the app folder. This is where discord keeps a bunch of its essential files. Inside, you'll find the modules folder. Give that a click. Now, here comes the cleanup. Hold down Control and click on Cloud Sync, Dispatch, Earl Pack, Game Utils, Crisp, RPC, and Spell Check. Once you've got those selected, hit Delete. You should be left with just 5 folders in there. That's the sweet spot. Now, head back to the top of the app folder and find Locales. This is where Discord stores language packs. You probably don't need all of them. No worries, just hit Control A to select them all, then hold Control and click on the one you actually use. For me, it's nus.pack. Give it a gentle tap on the delete key and you're golden. Your Discord should now be sleek and optimized. Oh, and one more thing. You might see this Discord shortcut hanging around. It looks innocent, but it just opens up the updater, which we've now bid adieu. So feel free to toss that shortcut into the trash. But hey, if you still want a shortcut for easy access, no sweat. Just right-click on discord.exe, hit create shortcut, and you've got your very own shortcut. Drag that bad boy wherever you please and you're good to go. Alright, for those of you looking to really max out your PC's performance, there are a few tricks you can pull off right within Discord. First off, let's tidy up your direct messages. Having a ton of them can hog up memory, so it's a good idea to clean house a bit. Same goes for pending friend requests and blocked users. If they are not hitting you up, why keep them blocked, right? Next up, consider trimming down your server list. Some servers can be memory hogs too, so try not to overload yourself with too many. And hey, while you're at it, let's tweak a few settings in Discord itself. Head over to your settings, then dive into privacy and safety. You'll want to uncheck a few boxes down there to limit some data collection. Unless, of course, you're running your own Discord server. In that case, you might want to keep those options checked for the extra features. Now, onto the clips feature. If you're not using it, might as well turn it off. And hey, personal preference alert, if you don't need friend requests popping up, you can toggle that off too. Last but not least, let's jazz up your appearance settings. Go into Appearance and tick off Show Avatars in Compact Mode. It'll help tidy things up a bit. Oh, and in Accessibility, you can uncheck a few options like Enable Reduced Motion and Automatically Play GIFs. They're not exactly must-haves. And there you have it, a lean, mean Discord machine. Alright, let's fine-tune your voice and video settings now. Head over to voice and video in your Discord settings. You'll want to uncheck hardware acceleration. Down below, there are three more settings you can uncheck for a smoother ride. And hey, while you're at it, pop over to screen share and uncheck a little something there too. Now, for the cherry on top, debug logging. It's not doing you any favors, so uncheck that box as well. Just remember, you'll need to give Discord a restart after you've made these changes. Alright, last few tweaks to make sure Discord is running smoothly. Head over to your Windows settings and ensure that Discord isn't set to open on startup. Keep those toggles off. In the Advanced section, make sure Hardware Acceleration is unchecked as well. Now, for the Game Overlay, let's switch that off too. It's not doing much for you and just chewing up memory. And there you have it folks, that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've got any suggestions or requests, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.